Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here for a very large grocery haul. All right, you guys, so like I said, we have a very large grocery haul here today. I try to do it on my larger grocery hauls so that I can give you guys a better idea of how I feed my family and how I eat, um, pumping and trying to lose weight. And um, usually like right around the end or the beginning of the month is like when we do our biggest grocery haul. So without further ado, let's hop on into the grocery haul. Okay, so one quick thing I wanted to mention is that um, I, when I make my grocery list, I've told you guys this before, but when I make my grocery lists, I will do um, on a piece of paper, I will write down my meals I'm going to make on this side, and then on this side I will write all of my ingredients and just like household es essentials that I use, um, like on the daily, and that's how I make my grocery list. And when I'm looking up like meals and things like that, I, I always, always, always go into Pinterest and um, I just decide how I'm going to be eating for that week or for that month. So like keto, paleo, etc. cetera. Um, and then I will look up a bunch of meals. So um, I'm gonna kind of pan over what I have here, show you guys what I bought. And then I'm going to briefly mention just a few um, meals that I have planned um, along the way in here. I can kind of tell you too. Okay, so getting into the groceries, um, shredded cheese, I've got three bags of shredded cheese. I've got a cube of the Marble Jack for just like snacking. Cream cheese, now this is a recipe for um, buffalo chicken soup, keto buffalo chicken soup, and it requires a block of cream cheese. Um, I've got some string cheese here, and again, for snacking, this is Kaya's chocolate milk and my unsweetened vanilla almond milk with my coffee in the back, and that's what I have for iced coffee every single morning. And I've got some barbecue sauce here for ribs. Um, I got some country style pork ribs. This is for, um, well, I mean, obviously just like a condiment, but it's also for the buffalo chicken soup I'm making. Um, heavy cream, now this is used in a lot of um, keto recipes and I make a lot of keto soups, so this is just nice to have on hand. Um, I'm obviously not going dairy free right now. <laughs> um, and then I've got butter. I usually like to get the Kerrygold from Costco, but um, I just didn't feel like going all the way out to Costco this time, so loaded up on butter from Walmart. Hot dog buns, hamburger buns from Mike and Kaya. Um, I also have like hamburgers, hot dogs, brats planned this week. Um, I always like to get a couple of these. Now, every once in a while while I'm, while I'm on keto, I'll have a whole grain brown rice as like maybe like a cheat meal. Um, anyways, this is just really nice for um, heating up really quick. For example, tonight I have pork chops in the crock pot with cream of mushroom, and then um, I'll just eat that plain, but then Kaya and Mike like to have a little bit of rice with it. So I've got two of the Uncle Ben's ready rice. Skinny Pop, Kaya's already gotten into that. This, um, I don't know, I saw it on um, the Walmart app. Now you guys, that's where I do all of my grocery shopping is through the Walmart grocery order app. It is so convenient. I can just pull up in the pickup spot. I don't have to go inside. I can keep the kids in the vehicle and um, I can easily search all of my groceries on the app and like set up between what time and what time I wanna get everything. Um, super, super easy. But anyways, that's where I do a lot of my grocery shopping. And then the service is actually free of charge, which is amazing as well, because if I want them delivered, it's usually like $20 or so to get my groceries delivered. Um, but anyways, when I was searching on the app, they had this underneath the healthy choice section, and I'm not really sure how healthy it is, but I just saw that it was a healthy carb choice. So we're gonna try that out maybe for one night. Um, I always keep mac and cheese on hand for Kaya because um, lunch is on the weekends. We always need it to be quick and easy. Um, yes, okay, so getting into all of my canned goods. Um, this is, you guys are gonna laugh, Cheese Whiz. So when I was growing up, my dad would always make cheesy green beans and he would use Cheese Whiz to make the cheesy green beans. So I had to indulge this week and have a little bit of um, my dad's cheesy green beans. And they are low carb, not super healthy with this stuff on it, but they are low carb. Um, and then I've just got a couple cans of Rotel for soups or low carb enchiladas or um, like low carb burrito bowls, etc. 
I always have cream of chicken and cream of mushroom in the house for easy quick meals. I do a really yummy Coffee. low carb chicken divan with this and really good um, pork chops with this and really good stroganoff with this. Um, green chilies because I like to have green chilies in a lot of the soups or enchiladas that I make. Sliced black olives because for lunches at work I do a lot of Cobb salads and I love black olives in my Cobb salads. Um, these are my favorite chili beans. I get the um, chili beans, the red beans. I usually get black beans too, but I just got these for now um, and I will add these into like a um, jambalaya type of thing that I'm making this week. It'll be um, like kielbasa sausage and beans and rice and shrimp and zucchini. It's like really, really yummy. High carb, but it's, it's really yummy. Um, and then of course you guys can see here pickles. These are like a must have low carb snack. Zesty, ooh my gosh, I almost broke that. Um, <laughs> zesty dill pickle spears. Uh, those are my favorite, besides nice the Clausen or the Clausen ones, the refrigerated pickles. Those are super bomb. Um, and then I just have green beans for my cheesy green beans I was telling you guys about. I've got three bags of prepped cauliflower. For I usually like roast these, and I think that's what I'll do with these too. Um, broccoli florets. Now, I like to get these frozen for A, chicken divan, and B, for meal prepping lunches. I'll do like frozen broccoli with um, like smoked or grilled chicken breast, and then I'll do a little bit of Alfredo sauce on top, and then um, it's very similar to like one of these things, one of these bowls, and it's low carb. So um, again, I've got frozen broccoli. Here's some fresh broccoli, which I will cut up and roast with um, dinners. And here's that Alfredo sauce that I was talking about. My favorite is the sun-dried tomato Alfredo. And I'll use one for lunches to make the chicken and broccoli Alfredo mix. And then I'll probably use one for some kind of dinner. I got two cans of ragu just because I always like to have some sort of easy quick dinner on hand, so like spaghetti. Um, and then I also have zucchini noodle spaghetti um, on the menu too and um, green peppers because we make a lot of um, Mexican style dinners such as like I said enchiladas, tacos, um, some kind of like tortilla soup, etc. One of my favorite low carb um, like lunch options is to do a tortilla soup with green peppers, poblano peppers, um, zucchini and then I'll do chicken breast and do like a taco based broth. Um, mushrooms because we love mushrooms they're really really yummy with um, like plenty of meals or just to have like on the side of a meal like mushrooms and onions sauteed in butter super good um, more broccoli and I've got some Roma tomatoes for my Cobb salads I've got two avocados here for my Cobb salads a bunch of zucchini like six huge zucchini in here for um, like a variety of things. I'll put this, like I said, in a tortilla soup or zucchini noodle spaghetti, or sometimes we'll just um, chop it up, put a little bit of Parmesan on it and roast it. It's really good. Kaya, you need to stop like destroying all the bags as I go through them, don't touch them, okay? Um, two bags of potatoes because I do like to do diced potatoes for Mike and Kaya for sides for dinner. Sometimes I'll have this as well if I'm having a cheat day. Um, I try, if I'm gonna be doing like any kind of carb, I try to keep it um, like, like potatoes. Um, and then red onions and um, I think I got sweet Vidalia onions this time. Bananas for Kaya because she loves bananas. Spring mix and this is for my Cobb salads. I have sugar snap peas. These are really good sauteed um, with a little bit of sauce or just on their own, super good. Two things of asparagus. These are just like quick lunches for me if I haven't had time to like meal prep for the week. Um, so I've got <clears throat> so I've got two of the grilled chicken and broccoli Alfredo and it's low carb. And then I've got one of this chicken and vegetable stir fry. Again, low carb, just healthy, quick options if I um, forgot to meal prep, like I said. Now, getting into this side, so this is like our, um, our 
healthy snack. These are like a lower carb um, vanilla bar, chocolate vanilla bar. And um, Kaya, me, and Mike all really love these. They're not like super healthy, but a really good just treat for yourself once a week if you are doing the low carb lifestyle and it shouldn't throw you too much off track. Um, I have ground beef for spaghetti. I have some like really nice fresh beef in the um, fridge right now for burgers. I've got some sausage for a um, breakfast scramble. I've got chicken thighs, chicken drummies, and a pork tenderloin, chicken jalapeno brats, and um, here's that smoked sausage, that kielbasa I was telling you about for jambalaya, hot dogs for kaya, so we have hamburgers and hot dogs, brats. Um, this is sirloins, so we'll have sirloins for dinner one night. Um, half of this shrimp will probably go on the side with the steak, and the other half of the shrimp will go on the side with um, the kielbasa sausage for that jambalaya. And I've got some country style short ribs back here. Oh, sorry, this is a chuck roast, not a sirloin. So chuck roast, sirloin, I'll probably cut this roast in half because it's just for me, Mike, and Kaya, so that we'll get a good two meals out of this. Um, country style short ribs in the back, sirloin, a huge, I believe this is a 10 pound bag of boneless chicken breast. I've got three packages of bacon for breakfast on the weekends. And I think that is everything, you guys. It is quite the haul. Now, in total, all of this was about $280, and this will last me a good two and a half, three weeks. I might need to fill in a little bit here and there, um, but the biggest focus, like part of the money, um, is coming from the meat. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, this is enough meat. So, this is, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is two meals worth. This is one meal worth. This is at least th three meals worth. Two, four, five, two, four, five, two, four. Yep, so that'll be three meals worth here. Um, we've got, um, like I said, one, two meals here with the jambalaya, shrimp, um, brats, hot dogs. Um, um, two meals out of this. Likely, like maybe one and a half to two meals out of this, two meals out of this, and this will be used for like lunch prepping and also random dinner. So there's probably like like five meals worth here, um, and then of course spaghetti. Okay, so again, like I was saying, um, there's plenty of meals here. A lot of like how I plan my meals, especially when I know that we're gonna be um, low carb or try, I'm trying to stay low carb, um, I will do, I'll base a lot of my meals around the meat and then I'll just get like a vegetable for the side and then that will be my meal. And then for Mike and Kaya, I just add in a carb. So I'll do like rice or potatoes or make, sometimes I'll do a double batch of veggies so we don't have um, a carb at all for that meal. So that's what a lot of that, meat is for is for dinner if you guys like this kind of video on my channel please be sure to give it a big thumbs up i will see you guys on let's see tomorrow's wednesday so i will see you guys on friday for um what i oh gosh what do i want to call it i'm going to say like 24 hours with a baby and then working full-time mom because i'm a full-time working mama so you guys will be able to see my schedule from the morning, less daycare. I'll show you guys my pumping. And then I will show you guys um, my night routine after that. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I will see you on Friday for that video. Bye. What a wonderful